Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about naming the appropriate unit of measure used for measuring the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. Before we're going to name the appropriate unit of measure used for measuring the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism, let us study first about a standard unit of measure. What is a standard unit of measure? A standard is something that has been precisely defined and accepted by a large group of people. Hence, a standard unit of measure is a unit that has been established and accepted all over the world. What is the standard unit of measure that most countries used all over the world? Today, our country and most countries around the world use the standard units and metric system. The metric system is base 10. That is why each unit is either 10 times larger or 10 times smaller than the unit next to it. In metric system, we have different units that use to measure the length, mass, and capacity. The basic unit for length is meter. For mass is gram and for capacity is liter. Here are the units of measure for length or for linear measurement. We have kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. The following are the units of measure for mass. We have kilogram, hectogram, decagram, gram, decigram, centigram, and milligram. The last but not the least are the units of measure for capacity. Kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. After we discuss about the units of measurement for length, mass, and capacity, let us study the appropriate unit of measure for measuring the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. What are the appropriate units of measure used for measuring the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. Since a cube and a rectangular prism are solid, thus, the appropriate and most used units of measure for measuring the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism are cubic millimeter, cubic centimeter, and cubic meter. It can also be a cubic foot and a cubic inch. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.